So carbon, when we find it on the periodic table, it has an atomic number of six. And this is the same as the number of electrons in a neutral atom of carbon. So when we draw the structure of carbon, we put two electrons on the first shell, since that's the maximum number it can hold, and four on the second shell. But please note that on the second shell, for it to be stable, it needs to have eight electrons. And this leads us to the question of how carbon will achieve stability. So one of the ways in which it does this is by sharing electrons with other atoms. Most notably here you can see it doing that with hydrogen. Hydrogen has one electron. So if carbon shares electrons with four hydrogens, it then has eight electrons on its outside shell. Whenever two electrons are shared, we represent this as one single line or a single covalent bond. So here you have carbon bonding with four hydrogens and forming four covalent bonds. And in each one, in each covalent bond, two electrons are shared. So in this way, carbon can form a variety of stable compounds. Here, another example, carbon is bonding with oxygen in the form of CO2 or carbon dioxide. And here you have four covalent bonds existing as two double bonds. And again, this means that carbon has eight electrons on its outside shell, four shared electrons with one oxygen and four with the other oxygen, once again making a stable compound.